Um, hello, hello everyone. Uh, welcome to another revision lesson for grade 12 mathematics. So, we will video on the discuss our solutions for activity 3. Okay, so activity 3, but the sketch represents the graph of a parabola given by f of x is equals to ax squared plus bx plus c and the straight line defined by g of x is equals to mx plus c. Points A, B, C, and D are the intercepts on the axis. E is the point of intersection of the two graphs. Right? <clears throat> and then question 2.1 says write down the, the coordinates of point D if D is the image of B after B has been shifted two units to the right. Right? So here we have B. To get to D, we have to shift be two units to the right which means we'll add x uh, we'll add far we'll add two to that x value to get to the coordinates of d right so when we add two la three we'll get to the coordinates of d which will be five and zero right so 2.1 the coordinates of d will be five zero and then 2.2 .2 says determine the equation of g right g is the straight line in the form of mx plus c right we know what you see is the value of the y intercept looking at the graph i see what the, the graph of g or the straight line intercepts the y axis at 3 so therefore the value of c is the y intercept which is 3 right now m is the value of the gradient right to get to to get the value of m i'll say y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 right y2 i'll pick this point as my x2 and y2 and this one is my x1 and y1 right y2 will be 3 minus y1 will be 0 divided by x2 will be 0, x1 will be 5. So the value of the gradient will be minus 3 over 5, which makes sense because the graph of g is a decreasing function. If I got a positive number for the value of m, I would know that there's something wrong in my calculation because a value, a positive value for the gradient will, will, will mean that the graph is an increasing function, which is not the case right so now that i have the value of m i can write down my equation will so g of x will be minus 3 over 5 x plus 3 okay and then uh, 2.3 says uh, determine the equation of the function f in the form of f of x is equal to x squared plus bx plus c right and then um yeah we need to determine the equation of f so f is that parabola we are given the x intercepts and the y intercept right so we are given three points i will go for i will go for this equation y is equals to a x minus x1 times x minus x2 where x1 and x2 will be the value of my um of my uh will be the value of my x intercept right so the first x intercept is minus one so substituting minus one the power x1 i'll have a times x plus one and then the the second intercept is, is 3, so Lapago x2 will substitute 3, I'll have x minus 3, right? And then, now, uh, now, okay, now my function will sort of have this form, x squared, x squared, I'm multiplying out the brackets, x squared plus uh, x squared, x squared minus 2x, minus 3 right and then now so 
f of x will be in this form a is equal a f of x will be equals to a times x squared minus 2x minus 3 right now i need to solve for the value of a so to solve for the value of a i'll pick another point which is not an x intercept in this case i'll pick that point there c right at c we know what the value of y is 3 and the value of x is 0 so wherever i see f of x or y i'll put 3 and then wherever i see x i'll put 0 right 0 squared minus 2 times 0 minus 3 right and then solving for a i will get root a is equals to minus 1 therefore the equation of f will be f of x is equals to substituting minus 1 lapa so is one of minus 1 times everything in the brackets so the final equation will be minus x squared plus 2x plus 3 right so now we are done with 2.3 moving on to 2.4 but it determined the coordinates of e the coordinates of e reading the statement but e is the point of intersection of the two graphs meaning at e the value of x and the value of y for the two graphs are equal right they share the same x and y values at e okay so now <clears throat> Um, meaning because the, the the graphs are equal at e, it means that f of x is equals to g of x at e, right? At e, these two graphs are equal, right? Um, so now I know what the equation of f of x is minus x squared plus 2x plus 3 equals to g of x is minus 3 over 5 x plus 3 that 3 and that 3 will cancel and then i will have bringing everything to the other side i will have x squared minus 2x minus 3 over 5x will give me uh, minus minus 13 over 5 will give me minus 13 over 5 is it if ct minus 2 minus 3 over 5 will have minus 13 over 5 x equals to 0 right and then i factorize x <coughs> x minus 13 over 5 is equals to 0 so from this equation i see what x is equals to 0 or x is equals to 13 over 5. 13 over 5 is the same as 2 comma 6, right? So this value, the value of x at e will be this one, right? Because at 0, notice what we are getting two, two values of, uh, we are getting two values of x, meaning the, the graph of g and the graph of f are equal at two points when x is equals to zero is that point and when x is equals to two comma six is that point right but then uh till now we are only interested in the coordinates of e so we will go with this x value right so now <clears throat> substituting um uh 13 over 5 graph yaga g i will get the corresponding y coordinate yaga e right and we have minus 3 over 5 times 13 over 5 plus 3 to get uh to get what 36 over 25 36 over 25 right so therefore the coordinates of e will be uh, the coordinates of e will be x is 13 over 5 and y is 36 over 25 right so those are the coordinates of e okay 2.5 but write down the values of x for which f of x 
is greater than g of x. So 2.5 in zone parallel, right? So 2.5, they want the values of x where the graph of f is greater than the graph of g. In the picture or in the diagram, where is the graph of f lie? Where is the graph of f greater than the graph of g? The graph of f is greater than the graph of g where it is above the graph of g. This is the graph of f. It is greater than, we are saying in this portion it is greater than the graph of g because in this portion it lies above the graph of g, right? So from x from from a from x equals to zero or from x greater than zero all the way to x being 13 over 5 the graph of f is greater than the graph of g right so the the corresponding x values are these ones the corresponding x value are, are these ones we know what here the, the x value is 13 over 5 here the x value is zero right so the graph of f is greater than the graph of g where x is between 0 and 13 over 5 can you see where x is 0 and 13 over 5 when x is less than 0 notice good now the graph of f is below the graph of g right and then notice again when x is greater than 13 over 5 the graph of f is below the graph of g so the x values where the graph of f is greater than the graph of g is when x is greater than 0 and x is less than 13 over 5 right we are including some equality there because la pavati where is the graph of f greater or equals to the graph of g so the equality part comes in here at x equals to 0 the graph of f and the graph of g are equal and at x equals to 13 over 5 the graph of f and the graph of g are equal but then the graph of f is greater strictly greater than the graph of g when x is greater than 0 and x is less than 13 over 5 so combining the two equality and inequality we get to this expression here okay so yeah i hope that makes sense if it doesn't feel free to ask me now as you see corner and i will be able to explain okay that's it for this video